Right, and really what it comes down to is funding. I want to give you a number that's $11,000, and it differs from each district, but this is the average amount of money California schools receive per student each year based on average daily attendance. That's why schools tried to keep classes going despite all of the disruption caused by those calls yesterday. Bomb threats made to four Monterey County schools on Tuesday prompted the campuses to take action. The North Monterey County Unified School District had students shelter in place at the middle school and high school until a bomb team searched the campuses. Worried parents wanted to take their kids home but were told leaving school would be unexcused. I don't think it's okay. Why should we be penalized? Why should our children be penalized for a bomb threat? It's ridiculous. I'm sure they just want to get out of here too because they've been stuck in the gym all day for hours. The school district needs to reevaluate, you know, not allowing it to be an excused absence. That's to me, this is kind of a family emergency. We looked into this. Why is it a big deal if classes are canceled for one day? Well, a primary source of funding for schools is based on average daily attendance and the amount of money that schools receive depends on the number of students in school per day. So we did the math. It's roughly $60 per student per day, which means if all of the students at the middle school and high school did not attend classes on Tuesday, the district could lose over $100,000. But what about emergencies? Districts can still get paid if an emergency closes a school by filing a waiver with the state. The Los Angeles Unified School District, which is the biggest school district in California and the second biggest in the entire nation, shut all its schools for one day because of an email threat that was later determined to be bogus, but all those schools shut down, almost 700,000 kids, so they filed a request with us at the department to make sure they got their money and didn't suffer a loss. We only have 180 days of school. It's really important that your children do not miss school. And when we have a, a situation like this, we didn't cancel school. We continued on with activities, so the students who left early missed their instruction. And here's the cost of canceling school for 1,800 students again. To put that number into perspective, I asked the superintendent what kind of impact would that have on the schools, and she says that this is basically the cost of their music program. Erin, Dan. All right. All right. Thank you, Bianca.